This has to be the best bargain for a dually on the market today. And that might sound crazy with a truck that costs nearly 90 grand. I borrowed this GMC from Jerry Signer here in South Jordan, Utah. It is available. Be sure to ask for Frank. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see just how expensive this truck is. At the very top is the description and the colors. And then here is a short listing of the standard equipment. Be sure to pause it. Base price is going to be $67,100 and here are all the options. So you have the diesel SLT premium package and it pretty much gives you the SLT convenience package as well. And then this one does have the 18 inch wheel upgrade which I strongly recommend. Gooseneck fifth wheel prep package, sunroof, dual alternators, high idle switch. Destination comes in at $19.95 with a total price of $86,760. I think for the amount of options this truck has, this is probably the best deal for a dually today, especially if you love chrome. All my chrome lovers on my channel, this is your truck right here, under $90,000. And this one still has the LED headlights, fog lights. You guys saw it has the surround vision too. Front parking sensors, this one also has the recovery hooks. Active grill shutters do not come on the dualies though. I'm shocked by that, but it does have a functional hood scoop on the very top there. Now, I believe this has the animation too for the headlights. Let's check that out real quickly. You guys ready? It does have the animations. And you guys can see, you can set up with the key for the mirrors to be power folding with the key, which I love. Now. As I said, there is a lot of chrome on this truck. There is no way to delete this on the SLT. You have to move up to a Denali. A really nice design on these headlights though. Now, if you're gonna get an SLT trim, you might as well just upgrade the wheels. I'm glad this one has it. I probably would not buy a GM Dually without these wheels. These wheels make this truck 100%. And they're wrapped in a Michelin tire. So these are the Primacy XC. So it has like a nice all-terrain look to it. LT2358018. And then here is the capacities right here. 3,195 pounds for single. And then dual is 2,910. All at 80 PSI cold. Independent front suspension. And they do have pretty good ratings for the axles. You guys will see the payload on that at the end of this video. But you have a fabric material for the wheel liner, clearance lights on the side. I know some people don't care for the plastic fender flares, but you can actually paint these with certain colors. So just keep that in mind. Some of your badging. And then fixed running boards. A little bit of chrome on these mirrors. Let's go ahead and pop them open real quickly. So you have the convex down below. This is manually operated. And then you have your lights for your trailer for backing up. More cameras, smart key system, chrome door handles. And let's step all the way back so you guys can see the side view of this. I doubt this will be available, but I would like to see an option for a larger fuel tank, but 36 gallon, seven gallon. And here's your stickers there. More steps on the bed front and rear on the bumper and then here's a look at the suspension so it's a little bit different from your single rear wheel so you have five leaves in the main pack on a single rear wheel but on the dualies you have four that bottom one being a helper spring but they add an additional leaf on the top so you have three overloads and you guys see the bump stops wax frame and you do have an availability to get a liner out back as an accessory on this truck but here's a better look at these wheels in the rear, clearance lights, and they give you a 4x4 four four badge. I would definitely remove this. You pick up like two pounds of payload, right? Just kidding. Full LED tail lights, rear parking sensors, class 5 hitch. They do come standard with this Multi Pro tailgate. If you push two buttons together like this, transformer. And there is an availability for a kicker sound system. Fifth wheel prep package, you have your four and seven pin, and they do give you this handle to help you get into the bed. 400 watts of power, and they do give you bed lights, 
and they give you three tie downs out back in the rear and three more on the front down below you guys can see your spare tire is matching you have a 342 rear end that has an automatic locker you see some of those shock absorbers too and the bump stops right there big brakes out back too they do have class leading gross axle weight rating out back and you have two camera views for your trailer that's the style of plug it is and then you have your seven pin right there and then your clearance light is right there and here's one last view of the rear one of my favorite views of a dually is this right here i love that wide hips out back most people know this by now but they did update this engine for 2024 so this is basically the gen 2 l5p it's gonna have 470 horsepower originally it had 445 horsepower and now this one has 975 pound-feet of torque compared to 910 on the previous gen 1 one thing i'll tell you about gm is this they do not have a lot of torque management on their 3500s it has a 12 inch ring gear and every time i drove my dually i had a 2024 chevy silverado with 37s on it i'll show it to you here i did a drag race against my 2500 with the 11 and a half inch ring gear that truck and i'm talking about my dually beat that 2500 off the line every time even when i brake boosted both of them i still could not get that 2500 to beat the 3500 so i think they give these trucks a little bit of a secret sauce which is they lie about their numbers gm is lying 100 percent this truck has more power because even against the ford's f350 high output power stroke it does not get beat bad although 470 horsepower versus 500 it's not a big difference so there's that too but the torque is where this truck does lack but they hold their own and I don't care what anyone says, GM is doing a really good job with their power plant here. As far as the interior goes, if you want a better equipped interior, you would have to go up to a Denali. And I will say, they have the premium interior for those trucks. But if you don't want to spend another $5,000 on a pickup, then this is the absolute best option here. And make no mistake about it, there's not a lot that you get between this and a Denali. Like this one still has seat memory, you still have the power mirrors for tow mode and you guys saw the power folding, auto up and down for the front, auto down for the rear. Bose sound system is the same for both trucks. Leather pointed seats with the perforated leather and these are heated and ventilated. The only major difference between this and a Denali is the dash, so check it out. Let's just step in so you guys can see this is basically the Chevy dash, okay? And then when you go from this to a AT4, which is not available in a dually, but from AT4 up, you get the premium interior. So it just basically changes the layout here on this dash, basically. But you still get the same screen, so there's no difference on the screen sizes for your gauge cluster or here. This is a 13.4 and 12 inch right there. Heads up display is still there on this truck. Actually, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This truck does not have heads up display. Excuse me completely forgot now is it optional let's go look really quickly not available here's your full drive system and drive modes right here with tow haul electronic parking brake lighting now here's something i learned year two of owning a gm truck if you hold this button down for about three seconds this is essentially the accessory mode I never knew that because I always thought when you push the button without holding it, that was the accessory mode. But if you do your fuel filter change on this truck, you will find out very quickly that that is not the accessory mode because this hold will cycle that fuel pump to allow that fuel to basically feed back through that filter. So that's how I learned that. So yeah, I had a GM truck for over a year and had no idea about that. But as I said, the layout in this truck is really nice. I think that with the refresh GM pickups, this really is a hard truck to beat guys. Like everything about it is nice. Like it still has the LED lighting on the interior, even down to a work truck model, they have the LED lighting. Home link is up there. 
You guys can see even with your visors, you have the vanities with the lights on both sides. This one did have the sunroof. And with this truck having the standard interior, I guess you could call it, you do pick up this storage there. And this storage does get larger. Now, some people would prefer the trailer brake here versus where it is on the premium interior too. Wireless chargers there, 120 volt plug, two USBs, and then this tray is removable to show deeper storage, and they do illuminate this area too. Telescoping steering wheel, and this screen is pretty much fully customizable. You can add your transmission temperature in here, but you can't see oil temperatures and coolant temperatures with a number, which I would like to see from GM. So, heated steering wheel, button right there. And this one does have the adaptive cruise control. If you hold this button down here, you'll see the icon change at the top there. And that will put you in regular cruise control. And if you hold it again, it'll put you back in adaptive cruise control. And it will stop the truck too for you, which is a nice feature to have. Now, obviously, this is not the highest trim level, but you still have 360 camera view. I didn't show it to you guys also, but you had a camera above the bed. You can zoom into the bed too if you're hooking up to a trailer. Also, if you need the backup line, you can turn that on as well exhaust brake it's just a single it doesn't have like two modes and then you do have a lane keep assist alert so it's not going to steer you parking sensors you can drop the tailgate from inside the truck caution lights and traction controls right there but like i said i do like what gm has done on this truck the first number i'm going to show you guys is for a bed camper so let's go ahead and jump over to the side Ten-way seat on both sides up front, grab handle, and then this is going to be storage at the very top. And this is like wrapped in like a leather material. But here is the number, so 4,492 pound capacity for the bed camper. This one also has the tire pressure monitoring system. And if you're buying a truck, my goodness, this is a must-have. Even if you don't have a trailer. It's just good to have because these are so cheap and I'm willing to bet you in a few years these things are going to be probably double the price. Out back, you do have a large cab, flat floor surface, sorry about all the junk in here. And this one does have the outboard heated seats, two USBs, air vents, and cup holders, seat back pockets, and 6040 bench with storage here, armrest with cup holders. And you can flip these down too for better visibility out the back window. Power sliding glass. Let's go ahead and check out that payload. The gross axle weight rating up front is going to be 6,000 pounds and the rear is 10,400 pounds. Gross fuel weight rating is going to be 14,000 pounds. And you guys can see the wheels 18 by 6.5 wide. And all in, max payload for this truck is going to be 5,242 pounds. Conventional towing is 20K. Gooseneck is 31,000. And yeah, gross combined is 40,000. So this truck has a pretty good towing capacity. I mean, 31,000 pounds is crazy. And you guys can see that the curb weight of this truck is 8,758 pounds. So it's definitely a heavy one. And I hear the numbers for your tire pressure 75 up front 70 in the rear but i hope you guys like the video this is definitely a good deal and i'm sure that gmc here in south jordan utah is discounting this truck as well so be sure to ask your frank uh and let me know what you guys think do you guys think this is the best deal on the market or is there a better one